What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we are making a big, easy breakfast on the Blackstone. That's right, a big, easy breakfast. Who doesn't like a big breakfast on the Blackstone? We are gonna crank it up this morning. So if you're new to the channel, we wanna thank you for stopping by. What we try to do here is simplify the cooking process and make it easy and fun. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you for all the support. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. And right to the griddle, that's right. No prep work. This is such an easy breakfast. Everything is already prepped for the most part. We're gonna start off putting our bacon down, four thick slices of center cut bacon. And you can hear that sizzle and here we go. Next up, we've got our Johnsonville Original Recipe Sausage Patties right out of the package. I love cooking sausage patties. Super easy. They're a great uh, addition to any breakfast. I mean, who doesn't like sausage? Come on. So we got some bacon next to some sausage. We are on a roll. Here we go. So after a few minutes, uh, we move our sausage patties over a little bit. And we're going to check on the bacon here, see how that's doing. And let me tell you, it's so fun to cook on this griddle. Take your time. There's no rush. I don't put anything on high heat for the most part unless I'm searing a steak. So I cook it on medium low to low. And you can see that bacon just getting nice and crispy already. And it's hot in the middle on this particular griddle. So just grill management, move it over, make a little bit more real estate, if you will. And you can hear that sizzle is looking great. And the smell is off the chain. So next up, we put down a little bit of butter. right up there at the top for our that's right hash brown potatoes these are actually like tater tots they're frozen they're crispy they're pre-seasoned they are delicious if you've never tried them they are absolutely amazing and they're so easy to cook you basically just put them down in some butter um, let them cook for about five minutes, turn them, let them cook on another five minutes on the other side, and they are nice and crispy on the outside, and they just taste great. So we just move them around a little bit here. Kind of get them, uh, you know, uniform, all flipped onto one side. And that's it. After we get them there, we just kind of leave them alone. These two are stuck together. I try to get them apart, I almost burn myself. <laughs> it happens. Just be careful. The Blackstone is very forgiving for food, but not so much for uh, for fingers that get burned. So that's it. We put them there, get them out of the way, and let's check on our patties. Oh, yeah. Look at that. These things cook pretty quick as well. It's only been like three or four minutes. Give them a flip. Check. Oh, get back over here. Check them out. Looking great. Oh yeah, look at that. Move them around a little bit. Check our bacon, give this another flip. Beautiful, and that's it. We just let them sit there and cook and enjoy the scents. All right, it's been about five minutes, so we are going to flip over our hash brown tater tots, or just tater tots. And you can see they're getting nice and crispy on that one side. I just wanna make sure they're all flipped over so we cook them all nice and evenly. I try to be slick and do it with the spatula, but mm, no bueno. 
<laughs> so we decided to go ahead and change cooking utensils here and just go right back to our tongs. But you can see they're looking good. They're getting nice color there. And again, you just want to flip these over one time, really, and just kind of leave them alone. We check our sausage here, which is looking pretty much done. On the outside, we just want to kind of move them over to the cooler spot of the griddle. Again, make some more room uh, for some other breakfast items that we're going to be throwing on here shortly. They are slippery little suckers. Flip our bacon one more time and let our hash browns do their thing. So get your bacon where you want it. I like mine cooked nice and evenly and let's watch it cook. Alright, the bacon is looking good. One more flip here for these guys. You can see them sizzling. You can hear them sizzling. They look great. So at this point, I got both knobs turned down to low. Again, no rush here. It all cooks pretty quick anyway to begin with, so there's no need to really rush. You want everything. My goal is to try to get everything done at the same time, to be honest. But if it doesn't, it's no big deal. This will keep it nice and warm. So I move the potatoes over to the right side of the griddle. Again, make some room. And those two are still stuck together. <laughs> They're driving me crazy. I finally split them apart. Look at that. Took a while. Finally got it done. So that's it. Just get them out of the way. Leave them alone. And let them finish up. Alright, next up. The fun part. We get to use some rings. I love these rings. They're great for eggs. They keep them nice and uh, uniform. They keep them from spreading out all over the place. Don't get me wrong. I like spreading them out all over the place too. But not when I'm trying to fill up the entire griddle with breakfast. Here's where you kind of have to keep them in check. So these rings work great. Um, you want to get them on the flattest part of the blackstone that you can so they don't go all over the place. Uh, and also you want to make sure you spray the inside of the rings on both sides and that's going to help uh, prevent the egg from sticking to the rings. So just a little quick spray, oil spray, canola spray, uh, vegetable, whatever, whatever you got. And that's it. You crack the eggs, stick them in each one and let the eggs do their thing. You can see my one-handed cracking skills. And one more, here we go, looks great. All right, and let the rings do their things. So we add a little bit more butter here. For some beautiful toast. Just some white bread on some butter, nothing like it. Goes great with every breakfast. And this is the best toaster in the world. All right, so we're going to give our eggs a little bit of help with our mini grill dome. And they do not take long to cook once you cover them and steam them up a little bit. I'd say maybe a, maybe a minute or two tops. But while I was steaming those, I decided to check the toast, and oh yeah, toast is done. you got to be real careful with that toast. It gets done real quick, so we get the grill dome out of the way, just so you guys can see everything. And we just turn that toast over, and look at that. Oh, it is beautiful. That is perfect. Like I said, best toaster in the world. Looks great. And you think, wow, that blackstone is full well we're not quite done yet 
So a little bit more water here. We're going to steam them up just for another 30 seconds or so. And then move on. All right, 30 seconds is up. And look at that. They are perfect. Those look great. Toast looks great too. We're going to move that toast out of the way. Eggs look great. Toast looks great. A little bit more butter. What do we have left to put on the Blackstone? Let's see what we got. And it is... Wait for it. Pancakes. That's right. We got enough room for a couple of flapjacks on there. Just to round off this beautiful, big, easy breakfast. It's looking great. <laughs> I can't wait. And we're just going to let those pancakes cook. Alright, the pancakes are bubbling up in the middle. They're looking good. Let's give them a little flip. Oh yeah, nice and golden brown. Looking beautiful. We let them cook a little bit on there. And that is it. We are ready. Let's go check it out. at this big easy breakfast on the Blackstone. Man, let me tell you, this Blackstone is so cool, so easy to cook on, so forgiving. And even though it's only a 22 incher, there is so much real estate on there that you just don't realize. Hopefully now you do. So everybody, I'm gonna give you a quick close up. Oh yeah, look at all that food. <laughs> all right everybody i'm not going to make you watch me eat this whole thing uh if it was one thing i'd take a bite but this is going to take me a while <laughs> so i'm not going to do that to you uh but everybody enjoy your saturday uh get yourself a nice big easy breakfast that you make on the blackstone or wherever you want to make it get through your day going right and uh thank you for watching liking subscribing and commenting and we'll keep on cooking big cat out